Hello friends, welcome to Physics and Animation. In the previous video, we discussed the concept of a dipole. In today's video, we will understand the torque experienced by a dipole placed in a uniform and non-uniform electric field. So let's consider an electric dipole AB, where equal and opposite charges are placed at a fixed distance from each other, making an angle theta with the uniform electric field. The charges are located at a fixed distance L from the center of rotation O. And both charges have the same magnitude. Therefore, equal forces will act on both ends, positive and negative of the dipole. We know that force acting on the positive charge will be along the direction of electric field, while for the negative charge, it will be opposite to the electric field. Apart from this, we also know that the torque is equal to the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the center of rotation or pivot. Let's say, for the negative charge, the perpendicular distance from the center of rotation is OC. And similarly, for the positive charge, it is BD. And we all know that sin theta is equal to OC divided by AO, where AO is equal to L. Using this relation, we can say that the perpendicular distance OC from the force acting on the negative charge is equal to L sin theta. Similarly, for the positive charge, BD will also be equal to L sin theta. Now, the torque due to the negative charge will be equal to the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance OC and we have calculated that OC is L sin theta. Similarly, the torque due to the positive charge will be force multiplied by the perpendicular distance BD which is also equal to L sin theta. Since both forces are causing the dipole to rotate in the same direction, that is clockwise, we can add the torques. The total torque will be 2 FL sin theta. We know that the force is equal to QE, where E is the electric field. So we can replace F with QE. In this equation, 2 QL represents the effectiveness of the dipole which we call the dipole moment and denote it by the capital P, which we have already discussed in the last video. Therefore, we obtain the final equation P e sin theta, which is nothing but the cross product of dipole moment vector P and the electric field vector E. Thus, the cross product of dipole moment vector P and the electric field vector E gives us torque. It's important to note that torque, electric field and dipole moment are all vector quantities. In the previous video, we learned that the direction of dipole moment will be taken from the negative charge towards the positive charge. Okay, now let's understand the value of torque for the different orientation of the dipole in the uniform electric field. The first case is when the angle theta between P and E is 0 degrees. So we have formula for torque, that is P e sin theta. So if we substitute theta as 0 degrees, we get torque equals 0, as sin 0 is equal to 0. We can also call this condition the equilibrium condition. In this case, if we disturb and rotate the dipole, forces will start acting on the both positive and negative ends of a dipole, bringing the dipole back to its original position. This type of equilibrium is called stable equilibrium. Now let's move on to the second case where the dipole is placed perpendicular to the electric field. Here theta is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, the formula for torque will be P e sin 90. As sin 90 equals to 1. So in this case, the torque simplifies to P e. Let's discuss the third case, where the dipole is placed at an angle of 180 degrees with respect to the electric field. In this case, when we substitute theta as 180 degrees in our formula, we find that the torque once again becomes 0, as sin 180 is also equal to 0. Consequently, we encountered another equilibrium condition for the dipole. But is this equilibrium stable? To understand this, let's give the dipole a slight rotation. As soon as we do that, a force will start acting on the positive end along the electric field towards right while the negative end experiences a force towards the left. These forces create a torque on the dipole, aligning it with the direction of electric field. This type of equilibrium, where the body doesn't return to its original position after a disturbance, is known as 
an unstable equilibrium. Thus, when the dipole is placed at an angle of 180 degrees with the electric field, it is in a state of unstable equilibrium. Lastly, let's consider the fourth case, where the dipole is placed at an angle of 270 degrees with the electric field. When we substitute theta as 270 degrees, we find that the torque becomes minus PE, where the minus sign indicates that the torque acts in the opposite direction in comparison to the last cases. So far, we have seen that at theta equals 0 and 180 degrees, the torque on the dipole is 0. At 0 degrees, dipole is in stable equilibrium, while at 180 degrees, it is in unstable equilibrium. And at theta equals 90 and 270 degrees, the torque is maximum in magnitude but opposite in direction. We have discussed the dipole in a uniform electric field, where the electric field intensity. remains the same at every position this ensures that equal forces acts on both ends of the dipole resulting in zero net force while the torque acts on it however if we place the dipole in a non uniform electric field different forces will act on both ends of a dipole leading to an unbalanced force therefore along with torque the dipole will experience motion in the direction of the maximum force It is important to note that the distance between the dipole is usually very small making it unlikely for significantly different forces to act on each ends additionally in such a short distance the uniformity of electric field is generally not considered so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching